Alright guys, I'm back with another tutorial, guys, just in case you hear maybe it cut off. As it started, anyway, we're going to go back to Simtropolis. This is this part two of the tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install a mod with dependencies, alright? So we're going to go to, it's actually pretty simple. Now, we're warning, if you find a, if you find a mod like this, not hating on the developer who made this mod or anything. Just look at all these dependencies. Look at all the dependencies. If you find a mod like this, I counted almost 30 dependencies. 30. Don't download a mod like that. It's not worth your time. Just worth advice. But anyway, we're going to be installing um, a mod that has a dependency. So basically, we are going to go... Click on, we're going to search for a mod, just going to scroll down here, and I think we found one, uh, which one, I think, yeah, there's one up here I already downloaded, it has a couple dependencies, um, so yeah, we're going to, Flinders Street Station, Melbourne, Australia, this one, I think, has some dependencies that you will need. And um, up, not nah, the same as the last one that we did. No, um, I think. Um, crap. Let me find one quick. I'll put an annotation description to let you skip to where I find the mod. Um. So yes. And so yes, we are gonna find a mod. Requires dependency. Um, I'm pretty sure this one does. If not, I'm gonna be sad. Yep, this one requires a dependency right here. All right, so basically, this one requires the Dark Knight mod. If you want it, the Dark Knight. Again, you don't need to. And it also requires the pedestrian mall connector. So what? And I've never installed this mod, so it's gonna be for both of us. You're gonna right click open and yes here is our dependency now basically first before you install the dependency sometimes there will be dependencies for the, dependen the dependencies and yeah it can be a pain um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna download the dependency first And this mod came out almost 10 years ago, so it's pretty cool. And yes, here is our file. It's taking a little bit slower because I'm recording, but yes, while that is installing, we can go here. And usually, you got, this guy doesn't post lots of tendencies, and we can choose between Maxis Knight or Dark Knight. And if you're new to the and new to the thing, um, game, you're gonna want to install it with Maxis Knight instead of Dark Knight because Dark Knight can be a little challenging at first. But if you're experienced, like I am, a little, I've been playing it for like many years, um, we're gonna be downloading with Dark Knight. So, yes, while those are loading, we're gonna go back to our, our plugins file. And if you don't know how, go to local disk, program files.86. Microsoft, no, 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 what am I thinking? Max's file, SimCity 4 Deluxe, and going to read, no, what am I thinking again? Uh, we're gonna go to plugins. This is our plugins files where we place all our mods. And looks like our dependency is done. And this one doesn't come in a file. Oh, oh god. Alright, ignore these four files. But I I recommend reading the README. But uh, if you're these are just pictures and that's a README. But the only thing you need to place in your plugins file is this file right there. You get Control C, Control V, and yes, there we go. It's right there. All right, now we are going to close that one out. And our skyscraper, our main mod here, Control C. Control V, um, and there we go. It was that simple. Now 
it should work and if you do not have the correct dependency your mod should look like this brown your mod should look like this a big brown box that's what it will look like right there big brown box so you do not want that so that's why dependencies are important and anyway guys thank you for watching don't forget to rate comment favorite and subscribe i will see you guys in my next video stay tuned i'll see you guys later bye uh... stop did it stop uh... please